grab a stiff drink, head out in the sandy expanse oh, to oh your rear, and tuck in with Sean Spada, everyone. Map. Hi, how are you? My name is... Wait, have I met you before? Oh my goodness, I've met you, my burger brains. How are you? I haven't met you, though. Good evening. My name is Rhonda. Oh, you don't shake hands. I understand. I respect your boundaries. Oh, you do shake hands? Hello. Rhonda. Fabulous to meet you. Oh, oh my goodness. You have a... Oh, it looks like you've dropped something, darling. Oh, dear. I can't pick it up. Oh, well. But you have a boot on your head, and you have a boot on your arm. High fives. Lovely. Oh. Hi, have I met you before? Oh, you're very tall. My name is Rhonda. Hello. Lovely to meet you. Have I met you? We have met. It's so good to see you again, darling. Oh, fabulous. And you? Wait, Swiss cheese? My little Swiss cheesy. You changed your, um, headdress. Oh! Oh, now I recognize you. That's more like it's with Cheesy. How are you? Oh, do you have a plant there? Oh, wow. Are you taking good care of it? Oh, that's good. You know, many, many moons ago, there was another gorgeous little sprite that lived down here, and they took care of a plant, and we had a naming ceremony for their plant, and their plant's name is Fuzzy Wuzzy. But I believe we decided that the plant would go by Fuzzy for short, you know, because Fuzzy Wuzzy, it's kind of hard, and it doesn't really ring when you're like, Fuzzy Wuzzy, dinner time! You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, Buster. How are, how's Buster today? Is he doing well? Is he being a good boy? Has he learned any new tricks? You don't know? Are you not being observant? You are. He just... He's very good at sitting for long periods of time, isn't he? That must be... He's very patient. He's a very patient little boy. Anyway, I think we should move this way a wee bit so that we don't... Spotted by that steak-faced man, who I don't like so much. Oh, right. My darling sweeper, this way. Now you, you seem to be a little bit new. Are you new here? How many days have you been here? One day. Two days. Two days? Oh? Wait a second. One day on this hand, two days on this hand. One day. Oh, my... Everybody hug the cherub. Our new little cherub, welcome to the under. Oh, give them a big squeezy hug. Oh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Sorry for invading your personal space. I just can't help it. I love new cherubs. Look at you, little newborn. So fresh, so innocent. So much to discover, darling. Oh my goodness. Should we have a welcome celebration for our new cherub? All right. My little booty friend is, is down. My little boot friend is, is down for a party. Are you down for a party, Cherub? You have no idea what you're in store for. It is going to be fabulous. All right. Now, Burger Brains, you were with me last time, weren't you? Now, tell me, should we do the shortcut or the long route? I'm thinking long route for the Cherub, because then it'll help them learn the lay of the land a little, right? All right, we're going to give you the scenic tour to our rehearsal studio, where all exciting creative things happen. Follow me, everybody. We have a Cherub. Be aware that this cherub doesn't know where they're going, and we will keep you safe and protected. And if you get lost, we will find you. All right, onward we go, this way.
we all accounted for? Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now, little cherub, we're not going to make a stop. But just to let you know in the future, this little store right here, it's called Gerald's. But, um, it's an odd name for a store. Anyway, ah, uh, Gerald's has blue raspberry flavored Slurpees, and they are delicious. And so one day when you're feeling parched, I highly recommend you go get yourself a Slurpee. All right, onward we go. Oh my goodness. Swiss Cheesy brought the cherub a blue raspberry Slurpee. Try that. It is so tasty. <gasps> oh, isn't it good? Delicious, isn't it? All right, on we go. Bravo, you are all so quick. I see you, Boots, don't worry. And you, my baby cowboy. Cowgirl, cowboy. Cow person. There we go. All right. Do we still have our cherub? Oh no, we lost our cherub. Where did our cherub go, everybody? All right, everybody back. And can you see this hand moving like a wave? Oh, fascinating. All right. You know, sometimes things work in odd ways in time loops, I must say. All right. Who is going to open up this door? Does anybody want to teach the cherub how to open up this door? You use your little mask. Do you know how to take off your mask? You do? Fantastic. Ah, there we go. All right. Down the stairs. I will take up the caboose. Oh, no! Go on down. I'll make sure that we all get down there safely. Burger Brains, we almost lost you, darling. Alright, so Cherub, we are in what's called the sewer. Do you know what a sewer is? Good, alright, so you can only imagine how disgusting it is down here. But the sewer has a magical path that leads to exactly where we want to go. Follow me! person. Thanks. How's it going, Burger? BB. I'll call you Burger Brains. Yes, BB. All right. Little cherub, this way. Oh, dear. Boots, did you lose a hand? <gasps> I'm so sorry for your loss. 
Oh dear. All right, let's keep going forward. And let's go up these slats. Now you have to be very careful that you don't get little splinters in your toes. Come on up. There we go. darling. You got it. Who's in the caboose? Wait, is that my baby cow person? Oh dear. Baby cow person? Oh, I think we lost them. They know the way, though. Don't worry. They've been here before. All right. Ooh, what's this? I've never seen those shoes before. Have you seen those before? Hmm. What does Buster say? He doesn't recognize them? Hmm. I wonder where those shoes came from. The car, maybe? Yeah, that's a good suggestion. Maybe, maybe the, how, the, when the car got stuck here, the, the shoes just came tumbling out of somebody's suitcase. All right, onward we go. Here we are. Do you need help? Let's see. Oh dear, I can't pick up that boot. It's too heavy for me. I also don't have very much muscle on my bones, so... Oh, silly boot! Don't worry, boots. I still love you even with one boot hand. All right, let's keep going. Mm. And here we are. The pool. Our rehearsal space. Can you imagine how glamorous this was back in the day? All those gorgeous humans slinking around in their bathing suits, sipping on little, I don't know, cocktails or, I don't know, muscle milk or whatever you drink near a pool. Oh, and people diving into the water, cooling off their skin. It must have been so glamorous. And now, it's a little sad, but there's one spot that's very good down here. This is the one good spot that's very, very good. You know, there used to be a medium in the under, and they said that this area right here held the most glorious white light, positive energy, and creative forces. So, while we're standing here in this little sunshiny rectangle, we are standing in the most... <gasps> oh my goodness, boots! You got your hands back! Did you hack it out of the sand for them? Oh my goodness, my little cow person, you're so very helpful, thank you. All right, now let's get down to business now that Boots has both of, both of their hands. And uh, let's welcome our new Cherub into the under. So Cherub, I need you center stage. Everybody, we need to make a circle around our Cherub. Buster, is it okay if I hold him? Oh, thank you. All right, so Buster... There's a few things that you need to learn about Buster. Now, Buster is fully in his element when he is right here in the rehearsal space. So Buster, not only, look at this, look at this. He's such a good dog. Sit. Stay. And he just does it. You could even hold up a piece of 
cheese or steak or, I don't know, cat poop. And he wouldn't even go running towards it. He will just sit there and stay. Isn't he so... He won't even chase that ball. Isn't he such a good puppy? So obedient. So loyal. Such a good, patient listener. It's what everybody wants in a good partner, right? Maybe not obedient, but a patient listener. That, that's a nice quality in a partner. And uh, Buster also has one other trick. He is very good at patrolling the negative energy. So if he sees any negative energy or any bullying or any not-so-nice things happening, he will let me know and then we will fix it. So that, that's what we call the negative Nancy duty, just to let you know. Because mm -hmm. that's a thing. Now, without further ado, let's welcome our little cherub into the under. Everybody circle around the cherub. Okay, and let's start with some music, because music makes everything better. Here we go. And let's start with a pose. Let's start like a little newborn mud pose. Newborn mud. We're going to get abstract. We're going to get weird. It's A-OK. -okay. Newborn mud. Good. And now pretend that you're, you're forming yourself from mud. Ooh, look at me. I'm growing out of mud. Ooh. And now you receive your first mask. And it feels really good. So you do a feel-good dance. A feel-good mask dance. Good. And now, because there's a new cherub, we give the cherub love sprinkles. Good. And you open up. And again, we give the cherub welcoming sprinkles. Good. And we open up. And then we give the cherub... Oh, what should we give them? Love, welcoming, friendship sprinkles. Because now you're making new friends and you're stuck with us forever and ever. Ha ha ha. Good. All right. Uh, that was not evil. I promise that was a lovely laugh. Okay. And now... Mm, does it feel good to receive love, welcoming, and friendship sprinkles? Shall we do one more feel-good dance? All right. And feel-good dance. Okay. And now, Cherub, so we can learn something about you. Here we go. Do you prefer cats or dogs? Cats. All right. So everybody give our Cherub a little kitty cat dance. Ooh, 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 ooh. Who knows? How to make that salt and pepper magical spell. Just a second. It's about to get real, Cherub. Salt and pepper magic spell. Salt and pepper magic spell. Good. And then I'm going to give you this wet food. And it's going to get very exciting. Oh my goodness. Oh, I cannot wait. Oh dear, it didn't work. Is that one working? Here, try eating this. <gasps> yes! And now you look like a kitty cat. You have kitty cat ears. Yes! Let's do a little kitty cat dance. Meow. 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 Oh, look at that little kitty cat go. Yes! All right. Now, little cherub, do you prefer sunshine or rain? Rain! All right, let's give them a rain dance. Rain. Good. And now, one more. Do you prefer... Hmm. Oh, this is good. Uh... Do you... Hmm. Do you like excite, uh, a pretty Halloween or a scary Halloween? Scary Halloween! Yes! And, and get your scariest poses ready. And we're going to do a series of three scary poses. Ready, steady, go. Pose number one. Pose number two. Pose number three. Ah! Good. All right. And now shake that off. Good. And now. Oh my goodness, you are a terrifying little cow person. Be careful with that axe. I'm going to have nightmares about you in the best of ways. All right. So, now I have to cut the music because now it's very important. Our last thing, my favorite thing in the whole wide under, is my pyrotonic, pyrotechnic, pyrotonic, pyrotechnic explosions. Do you know what that is? 
It's like a firework. Do you know how to make a firework? Would you like to learn how? All right. In unison, everybody remove your mask. Except you little boots. And you go snap, snap, snap into your mask and you make an onion. You make another onion. You make another onion. Good. You make a blue flame. And now you go onion, snap, onion into that blue flame. Snap. Oh my goodness, you made a beach ball. That was amazing. We will keep that beach ball close, but make three onions. You got this. You got this, Terb. I believe in you. Good. Now you make a blue flame. And you go onion, snap, onion. Onion, snap, onion. Bravo! And now you make a blue flame. And now you go beer. Onion. Snap. Yes! And now we're going to add a beach ball to that concoction and watch your first ever firework. Congratulations. What a beautiful way to end your welcome dance. Boots, let me see you give our little cherub a round of applause. There we go. I just really enjoy watching these boot hands and so I'll make you do boot type things because it's very entertaining. Thank you, darling. Wait a second. Can you hold Buster with those boots? Oh, no. Oh, Buster, you're slippery like a little fish. Oh, my goodness! Oh! <laughs> That's so cute! Buster! You're such a good boy. You're such good balancing skills. Look at that! High five, boots. Good. Cheesy, what did you think of that trick? That was next level, wasn't it? Buster is so skilled. My goodness. All right, here, you can, you can have Buster back. Thank you. You're such a good foster parent. By the way, if you ever see Swiss Cheesy with a cheese on the head, that is Buster's foster parent. So whenever I have been uh, swept away by the sands of time, Cheesy here takes care of Buster for me. Yes. Oh, is that your, is that your baby? Do you have a name for them? Kind of, sort of. Oh. So I guess it's not appropriate to give it, to have a naming ceremony then. It is appropriate to have a naming ceremony. Okay, all right. Now that you have been initiated into the realm of Rhonda's avant-garde, bizarre art projects, and you have kitty ears to prove that, uh, we are going to have a naming ceremony for this teddy bear. All right, so... Cow, cow person and teddy bear into the center of the circle, please. Now, hold the teddy bear close to your heart. And listen to the answers that speak to you. Now, does this teddy bear prefer snuggles on the couch or snuggles in bed? The bed. Okay. All right. Does this teddy bear prefer romantic comedies? Or action films romantic comedies all right so it's a tender little bear all right is this bear mmm ooh hotels or camping camping outdoorsy tender all right all right and and little cozy beds okay and um Ooh, the letter, hmm, let's see, the letter, I'm going to start saying the alphabet, and then you snap when it's the right letter, okay? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, oh, S? S. All right, so its name starts with an S. Mmm. S, S, S. We have Buster. We have Fuzzy Wuzzy. S. Does your teddy bear like snakes? 
Okay. All right. Ooh, I know what their name is. Is it Stinky? Stinky the Bear? It's Stinky the Bear. Welcome, Stinky the Bear, to the under. And your cow person is your loving little parent. You are so very lucky to have cow person as your parent. Yay. Oh. Isn't that so, darling? Wait a second. Do you need a hat? You do need a hat? Okay. Now, there's so many options. Do you, have you seen any of the hats? So we have cheese. We have burgers. We have cowboys. Or girls. Or people. We have boots. We have kitties. I've seen... I've even seen tarts before. I've even seen chef's hats before. I've seen fantastic side-combed black hair before. I have seen... Um, bonnets before. I have seen really cool toques. That's what you call them in Canada, but I believe in America you call it a beanie. Um, I have seen so many options, but I'm going to let you find the hat that speaks to you. So I'm going to suggest you all go over to the garden, and there you will find this gorgeous little sprite hat, okay? I'm going to take off, but this is your task for now. Going to the garden and taking care of this gorgeous little goddess and finding them a hat. All right? All right. Ciao for now. You're all fabulous. Oh, Stinky the Bear. Oh, welcome to the under, darling. Buster. Ooh, my sweet little boy. Oh, thank you for taking care of him. You are so, I'm just so thankful for you. I'm so excited to see what hat you come up with. Burger brains, lovely to see you again. Boots, keep it real. And my sweet darling cherub, bring it in. Bring it in here. Give me a big old hug. Oh, welcome to the under. I am so happy I have met you. Ciao for now, darlings.